Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the 20th ranked San Diego Toreros taking on the Northeastern Huskies. Let's take a look at that matchup. The graphic off the screen, there we go. Go ahead and slap the like button for me guys. Subscribe if you're new and join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in Season 4 of our FCS Dynasty. There's a link in the description below. Toreros, 8-3 on the season. Definitely a, a huge turnaround from Season 2 of our dynasty. Uh, under Jack uh, Jack Brown, the head coach, this is the second season. Season 1, a bit rough, a lot of injuries, but they've definitely turned it around. Their rankings in offense, I mean, the rush attack is really good. You got Xavier Wilson at quarterback, he's a dual threat. Robbie Ballard at halfback, he's always consistent. Going to get you over 1,000 yards rushing every season. Uh, the pass offense... Could definitely use some work, but Wilson, he's been pretty consistent this season and not a lot of turnovers, really. And the defense, much improved. Number 11 in the country. Uh, the rush defense, you know, they've had a couple rough games this season, but 42nd in the country, 104 yards allowed per game. Pass defense, though, number 6 in the land. Much, much improved from season number 2. All right, only two games left in week 14, guys. And then there are six more games in total. There's five in week 15. And then there... How many are there in week... Oh, there's one game in week 16 as well, which is kind of weird that it's even... <laughs> there's even a game in week 16. Let me make sure I have the right playbook here. So I ended up running the Jacksonville playbook for Dayton last night. I mean, we still got the win, but still. A little balanced run offense. And I'm going to go with the baby blues here today. Let's do it. All right, who we got in the chat? Who is it? Who you got? Let's see. Wow, we already got 11 people in here. No regear. Head coach for the Pac-10 champions. The Southern Utah Thunderbirds is here. Parker Thomas. He's starting strong safety for Savannah State. Tyler Rocky, one of the halfbacks for Northern Colorado. Ray Senga is here, creator of probably 30 players in this series. Ron Kemp in the chat. Jay Washington. Zachary Joseph, the freshman corner for San Diego. We'll see him tonight. And let's see. Chaos Driven, my brother. What's going on? Little Mike in the house. Grambling State just lost to Hampton? No way. Oh, my goodness. Gonna have to take a gander at that. I'm sure we'll see it during the game. Oh, that's that's out of bounds. It's climb time. That kickoff out of bounds is for you, Marvin. Welcome to the chat, buddy. I hope you don't work uh, work tonight, Marvin. Because Jacksonville's playing tonight, nine o'clock Eastern time, of course. All right. I don't have Dylan Tong. He's out for the rest of the season, which is very sad. So I'm going to be using Demarcus Green in this ball game. JP Parker in the chat. What's up, JP? How you doing, buddy? Quick pass left side, and that's a face mask. Oh, wow. Personal foul as well. So, so far, kickoff out of bounds. 15-yard face mask. You know, no big deal. John Perez in the chat, a.k.a. Pete Mitchell, freshman receiver for the Savannah State Tigers. You don't work till Saturday, Marvin? Nice. Oh, get that. Let's go. Nice deflection. All right, let's take a look at the defense before I forget. Boom Johnson at DN, DJ Payne at defensive tackle. Middle linebackers are Luke Moss and Rob Roy. In the secondary, we've got Isaac Price and Zachary Joseph at corner. Demarcus Green at free safety, and Dylan Tong is injured, so we will not see him at the strong safety spot, unfortunately. His college career might be over. He might go pro. We'll see soon enough in the offseason.
How many games today, JP? We're doing this one right now, and then tonight, uh, 9 Eastern time, we'll be having the final game of Week 14. That is number two, Jacksonville, taking on the Alabama State Hornets in SEC action. Hornets looking for the upset in that one. Got a lot of juniors. Yes, we sure do. There is, well, let's see. How many juniors did we start off with? Get away from the ball, please. Oh, my goodness. Each team at the start of this series had 11 players. So, 11 players on 12 schools. You do the math. All of those were freshmen, except for one was a sophomore at the time, and he is now a senior, Darius Mitchell, at back for Northern Colorado. Bobby Ballard picks up six yards. Let's take a look at the Torero offense, led by Xavier Wilson under center. Robbie Ballard in the backfield, and Bo Davis at fullback. Doug Lay, Demetrius Primetime, George, Riley Porter, and true freshman Vonnie Williams are the receivers. And Brick Wall is the left tackle, number 75. And Ballard escapes and somehow gets the first down. I like it. You feel heartbroken? Why do you feel heartbroken, Parker? Talk to me. Alright, first and ten. Ground game's working pretty well so far. Let's try some play action, maybe. Over the middle. Oh, nice deflection. I like the effort from Doug Lay laying out for it. Just couldn't quite get there in time. And Ballard's wide open on the sideline. Oh my goodness. And just breaks two tackles. Love it. I love it. Not sure what happened to the uh, secondary, but they just kind of let him go. Northeastern is a sneaky team. Yeah, I'm not going to overlook them at all here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, how do you drop that, my guy? Brick wall with a holding penalty. Love it. You just, you love to see it. Uh, let's go back to the ground attack. First down and 20. Wilson just gets the pitch off. And Ballard with a nice stiff arm. And he tries another one. Gets up to the 48-yard line. 23 yards with the junior halfback on three tries already in the game. Who I think will be a superstar, star and sleeper in the upcoming EFL draft? Oh man, you just you ask such good questions. Doug Lay wide open inside the 30 yard line. He does not drop that one. All right, superstar at the next level, 100% is going to be uh, Brandon Allen, halfback from the Ryan Bulldogs. He's just such a monster, and he's just so well rounded. I think he's going to be the top running back. Uh, year one for the rookies. A star? Let's see. I think Stefan Okafor. Again, we're going back to the uh, Bryant Bulldogs. Stefan Okafor, the other outside linebacker for Bryant. I think he'll be a star. He's very underrated, overlooked in that linebacking core. And a sleeper, I think. Oh my goodness, I, I'm, <laughs> I want to say Noel Montanez, quarterback for Bryant, but <laughs> he doesn't get a lot of recognition either, but he is having one fantastic season right now, and I think he might be built best for the pros. Um, I think Jeremy Carroll for Savannah State, you know, I think he's going to be a really solid pro quarterback. Uh, there's a lot of them that are going to be, I think, sleepers. A lot of these guys that have had, you know, pretty pretty solid careers so far in college, but, you know, aren't putting up 
ridiculous numbers like uh, like Brandon Allen and MJ Gator Jr. There's a touchdown for Tess right there. San Diego strikes first on an almost four minute drive to start the game. Primetime George in the chat. What's going on, Demetrius? Kara might be the sleeper as well. I mean, he got benched this season for a freshman, so I'm sure some of the owners in the EFL are going to look at that and, you know, say, you know, maybe maybe he's not the answer at quarterback for our team. I don't know. Somebody might take a shot at him, and he might prove to be successful. I really can't wait for the draft. It's going to be so much fun. Being, you know, being the commissioner <laughs> of the league, I just, I'm really looking forward to it. And we are up to 15 viewers. All right, let's go, guys. we we'll pass over the middle, and that is the halfback. And how we're going to do the draft for the EFL, we're going to have all subscriber and Discord players get drafted first, and then we'll have the owners and other teams go after, you know, the computer players that are available. So the first, you know, three rounds-ish will be all subscriber players and Discord players. So that's going to be a lot of fun. You guys can tune in, you know, hear your name get called if you're a junior and you actually uh, declared for the draft. Or a senior like Darius Mitchell and uh, Mike Adams for VMI. He was a Juco transfer. Quasi Sands, kicker for Jacksonville, also a senior. And as the Toreros get the sack on third down, it's fourth and 13. Quick three and out for the Huskies after a four-minute touchdown drive by the San Diego Toreros. See your post in the SFL channel on my Discord? I think I did. The one about uh, Devo of the Week. Zachary Joseph back to return. I believe he's got one touchdown return this season. Doesn't look like he's going to get one here unless something crazy happens. Decent return, though, up to the 48. And yeah, we're going to keep piling the rock. It's working. Maybe not on this play. Oh my goodness, the O-line just got bodied. You're all in on the Jacksonville Dolphins tonight. I like it. Craniac Gaming in the chat. What's going on, Craniac? How you doing, brother? Oh boy. That was unfortunate. A fumble that... Ended up bouncing away from everybody. After the players drafted to his team, will he hear a scouting report with strengths and weaknesses? Um, I don't know. We'll we'll definitely go over, you know, like career stats and accomplishments and whatnot for each player. Hundred percent. I'll be working with Mr. Hammer to do graphics and whatnot so I can put them up on the screen while while we take a look at all that and you know after the, the player is announced and whatnot. And we do have a panel for the draft. Mr. Uh, Mr. John Perez in here is on the panel. Possibly Craniac Gaming. Oh, nice deflection, and another three and out for the Torero defense. Let's go. And a 
good punt inside the 20. All right, let's try this again uh, w without fumbling. That'd be fantastic. Robbie Ballard with the carry. And he's got the first down and then some. Oh, my goodness, just outrunning people. You don't see that too often from Robbie. More of a bruising back, which I think Ballard is going to have a fantastic career in the EFL. He's built perfectly for it. You know, they got the truck stick in Madden 06. I, I think he's going to do wonderful. That is the end of the first quarter. Torero's on top, 7-0. dive you know no blocking no worries all right second down and 11 after a loss of one for the fullback can you be a part of the EFL draft sometime I'm sure we could work you in there at some point wide open is the tight end and it's overthrown feels bad feels really bad all right, what do we got here? Third and 11 from the 48. Ballard is going to be big time at the next level. Yes, sir. I think he's going to be great. It's going to be a top five back. Wide open. Prime time. George lays out for the first down catch. What a play by the junior receiver. Let's go. That's a beautiful thing. Oh my goodness. All right, so they are keying on the option right now. And that's a feels bad. Kind of want to see if Ballard can get wide open on the flats again on the right side. Nope, but I'm going to throw it to him anyway because he's on fire. Oh, let's go. Almost went out of bounds. Nice catch and run. Second catch of the game already for Robbie. And it is third and five. Might look to take off here with Wilson. He's got the speed for it. Nope. Come on, George. Break free. Oh, come on. That's that's a pick six. That's unfortunate. Oh, boy. No air under that pass whatsoever. All right, just like that, we're going to be tied up. Yeah, we'll have all the, the career stats. Well, really the season stats I post at the end of every season in the Discord. So you guys will be prepared for, for those type of stats during the EFL draft and whatnot. All right, let's get crazy with it. I mean, that might have been all right if we got some blocking. All right, let's respond after the 81-yard pick six. I'm disgusted. Disgusted with myself. All right, now we got the option going. Here we go. Come on, Robbie. Let's go, Robbie. Let's go, baby. First down to the 38. And run the coach over. He's already at 100 yards rushing. What a beast. All right, let's give it off to the fullback. Give Ballard a rest after that big run. 
They have one yard of offense, and it's a tie game. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Okay, Bo Davis picks up eight yards up the gut. Very nice run. And now Ballard in the zone. Look out. Okay. <laughs> I bounced off of a lineman and it just made me keep going left. Awkward. All right, they're down three. From the 45. Primetime George with the first down catch to the 45 yard line. Let's go. Move the chains. Almost 2,000 yards passing for Wilson. 15 touchdowns, 8 picks. Hand the ball off. Oh my goodness, what was that? That was a broken play. I don't know why he didn't hand it off to Ballard. That was a halfback slam. Supposed to be, at least. caught that. Alright, this is a little rough. Third down and 15. Might take off here. I'm gonna. Let's go. Let's go, Xavier. First down, baby. Great dive at the end. Move the chains. open. Nobody was open. We'll take it. <laughs> that play was crazy. It was actually crazy. How he just got 17 yards out of that, I, I don't know. 95% in the red zone this season. Not too shabby. Can I get some blocking, please? And yeah, we'll take a face mask. Foul. Face mask on the defense. How did I manage to get out of that? Listen, it's the stick skills, my guy. I do this. <laughs> Alright, first and goal from the eight. Bo Davis. Come on, fullback. Okay. Down inside the three yard line. Uh oh. Wow. You just gonna hit my quarterback like that. Okay. Okay then. First and go from the one. Robbie Ballard. Oh, oh, the juke. Woo. Oh, that was nasty. Wow. Just flat out fell on his face. I kind of want Robbie to come back to San Diego next season. Just to watch him put up 1,500 rushing yards again. And possibly get a Pac-10 championship for San Diego. So far, two touchdowns for Tess in the first half for the Toreros. Looking good. 
minus the pick six, but we don't talk about that. Huskies with one yard of offense to this point. Guerrero's dominating in all facets of the game. Oh, I missed. This is Boom Johnson, the defensive end, who just chased down the halfback. <laughs> Unbelievable. Saving a touchdown. Wow. I didn't know you had it in you, Boom. My goodness. Looking like a young Carlos Dunlap out there. Finally gets to play for a good team after being traded to the Seattle Seahawks. Loss of six on the sack. Boom Johnson in the zone now. See if he can make a play in the backfield. That'd be nice. Quick pass. That is dropped. Third down coming up. The quarterback's actually having a really good season. 24 touchdowns, seven picks. But today, uh, not, not so much. Not so much at all. Huskies 0 for 3 on third down. And it's a long one. Oh, back him up even more. False start on the left tackle. He's scared. He's so scared. And it's third and 21. Just like that. Alright, I got deep middle. I'll try not to mess up. And that pass goes nowhere. Let's go. They had one big play at the start of the drive. And that was it. Then it just went backwards. Zachary Joseph to return. Oh, nice tackle. But we do get it out of the 20-yard line, so we got that going for us. And of course I'm sacked. They blitzed everybody. Alright, second down, 16 to go. From the 15. Oh my goodness gracious, brick wall just got absolutely destroyed. And Xavier Wilson gets it up to the 25. Good run. He's got almost 300 yards rushing on the season. Nine touchdowns on the ground. Okay. I'll take three yards. I like it. Now I can just hand it off to Ballard and let him go to work. And he always falls forward. Let's go. Too easy. Just way too easy. I'm trying to get Vonnie Williams one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside of the right. If we can get him one-on-one -on -one with that cornerback, he's going to torch him so bad. Prime time. Oh, nice tackle. Let's go no huddle here. Top five fastest quarterbacks in the FCS. Michael Hines, uh, Xavier Wilson, Eric Spears Jr., who's on the Toreros as well. He transferred from Cal Poly. Um... Who else? Who am I missing here? Throw up top to Ballard. Nice deflection. Uh, Nicholas Hall. He's really fast. 
Uh, and Owen Black, fast as well. I feel like I missed somebody. Oh, those are the fastest ones, though. Uh, Dorian Wura, also extremely fast for Dayton. One on one. Get there, Vonnie. Get there, baby. Let's go. Touchdown, San Diego. Another one for Tess with four seconds to go in the first half. What a throw from Xavier Wilson. Beautiful. Just a dime. I've been trying to set that up this whole half. <laughs> Oh, Darrell Stats, also an extremely fast quarterback. Well, he's the backup for Northern Colorado. He, I think he's going to have a decent uh, EFL career. But he's just doesn't have the accuracy right now for college. He'll probably have to sit for a year maybe, work on his accuracy, then start for an EFL team. Castillo boots it. Oh, I got destroyed. And that is the end of the first half, folks. San Diego on top, 21 to seven over Northeastern, who only has 23 yards of offense. Their score came by way of a pick six. Terreros with a shot at getting a double digit win season after missing a bowl game last year. Bonnie Williams on for the return. And doesn't get any blocking and gets absolutely just mauled right there at the 20. Oh my goodness. Broke a tackle just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they actually gave him a yard on that? I don't know how. Right, I'm going to try the option here. Hasn't been working too well for us in this game, but I'm going to try it again. I don't like to go away from it, you know, for the entire game. And a good run for Wilson. A yard shy of the sticks. And let's see, what do I want to do here? Let's go play action, try to fool him. Third and inches. I hit Bo Davis in the flats on the right, out of the fullback spot. Or Mason. Oh, what a catch by the tight end. Oh, he's got some speed. Okay. Up to the 45. I like it. Terreros need more, uh, more Discord players on offense. It's not enough. They're going to need another running back soon. Riley Porter wide open. Touchdown, San Diego. Another one for Tess. Let's go. That was a beautiful play action. Oof. Good night. Wilson dropping dimes out here. And it is 28 to 7. Guerrero's starting to pull away a little bit. And the way their defense has been performing, I, I'm pretty sure we all know the outcome of this game. But, you know, you never know. Stranger things have happened. I bounced right off of him. That's a feels bad. Dropping dimes like and flipping on the mob to the FBI. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Quarterback draw. And Fritz will get two or three yards.
And another false start. I believe that's the second of the game. This time it's the left guard. The left tackle had the other one. The crowd is getting to them. Next season, I'm sure we'll see some of our school's stadiums in the top 25 toughest places to play, so that'll be fun to see. I think once they get in there, they get an extra bar or two on the stadium pulse. Shot left side, deflected away. Nice play. That was Price. Another three and out for Northeastern. Crazy looking back at the loss against Central Michigan in the first game. San Diego's made major leaps. They sure have. This, this team is just... Leaps and bounds better than they were last season. Oh, what a punt. They might have outpunted the coverage, though. Joseph up the left sideline. Zachary Joseph. Tight roping down the sideline, and he is gone. Touchdown, San Diego. Another one for Tess. Let's go. His second punt return touchdown of the season. Woo. 68 yards to the crib. Let's go. And just like that, 35 to 7. San Diego's good. They sure are, Tyler. They sure are, buddy. This is what San Diego should have been last season, but they they just had so many injuries. And they just it derailed their entire season. Working on your EFL draft sheet now. Nice. I look forward to uh, taking a gander at that. A little sneak peek. You know, just slide into my DMs. You know you want to. <laughs> All right, second down and eight for the Huskies. And that one absolutely nowhere. I believe that's Hunt. Yes, it is. Ten sacks on the season, 40 tackles. I'm surprised that nobody in the Discord selected any of these linebackers for San Diego. These guys are all freshmen, these outside linebackers, Hunt and Bell, and they have been absolutely destroying offenses all season long. Fritz in the zone at quarterback. Boom Johnson in the zone at defensive end. And nice deflection. Too easy. That was Bell. And swatted it down another three and out. Wish we had a playoff tournament for the trip. That would be crazy. It would be crazy. I would love that. Joseph again, this time from his 27. Oh, the spin. Didn't get enough blocking on that one, but still. Decent return. Rocky Clearwater in the chat. Who possessed San Diego? Me. What's up? <laughs> I mean, they're, they're just healthy this season, man. Oh, my. Look at that run. Get him out of here. Yeah. Try to tackle me. See what happens. What's up? One does not simply tackle a Robbie Ballard. Okay. That's just not how you go about it, my guy. You're going about it all wrong. Just did two movie references in about two seconds. Nobody noticed. I like it. Get that. Okay, Robbie. Let's go, baby. No way you should have got that first down, but I like it. We're about to have 20, 20 first downs. I'm going to go for 30 this game. Let's do it. I'm ready. Harris Montz broke a thumb out for the game for Northeastern. We will see the Huskies again next week, I believe. They, they face one of our schools as well. So 
not mistaken. I probably am. Whatever. It's fine. Ballard, 122 yards in the game. Just, it's not even fair. He's just too good. See if we can get him to play action again. This time to George. Overthrown that time. Unfortunate. Got two deep bombs on the on the play action place today. It's been working great for us. Wilson, 10 of 16, 228 yards, two touchdowns. Well, technically three since the interception was a touchdown. <laughs> Nice blocking. And a first down for Wilson. He's in the feet in the open field. Look out. And face mask. Inside the 20-yard line now. Let's go. That cut up field though. Forget about it. That was glorious. I'm gonna hand this off to Ballard, left side. A little RPO. A little touchdown. Oh, stopped him just short. Come on, bro. <laughs> so close. Two trips to the red zone. Two touchdowns in the game for San Diego. And Ballard. Oh, my goodness. It took the whole defense to bring him down. Might be a little tired for this play, but we'll give it a go. Don't forget to slap the like button on the video, guys, if you haven't already. I appreciate you. And Wilson is in for the touchdown. Another one for Tess. Let's go. Terreros cruising. I wish they had a backup quarterback and running back because they'd be getting some playing time in this game. I might get crazy with it and put Bo Davis at halfback. He's the fullback. Just for the fourth quarter. Get crazy with it. That's out of bounds. I, I fully expect, uh, you know, more players to commit to San Diego this offseason coming up. Just because how they rebounded, you know, their team is solid. They just need a little bit more depth, especially on offense. They need it. Obviously, the defense is fantastic. But they'll also need some, some guys at linebacker, middle linebacker. Because uh, Rob Roy and Luke Moss, these guys are juniors. Marcus Green, he's a sophomore, but we're going to have to fill the void left by Dylan Tong if he does end up going pro. And third down and two. Can we get another three and out? They are 0 for 6 on third downs in the ballgame. And they're going to go through the air. First down. They finally got one. It was bound to happen, right? Can't stop him every time. Man, that was a nice tackle by Rob Roy, the junior middle linebacker. Getting closer to the fourth quarter here. Play action. Deep shot. Uh-oh, Price got beat like he stole something. Touchdown, Northeastern. Price, more of a zone coverage cornerback. And I, I kind of made a boo-boo. Put him on an island out there, one-on-one -on -one versus a number one receiver. That's, that's no bueno. That's my bad. Forgive me, Isaac.
So all right, we get to see Doug Lay and Vonnie Williams possibly return a kick. And it is Doug Lay. And the junior receiver gets it up to the 21 yard line. The offense finally did something for once. Kinda. That was a pretty good drive by the Huskies. I'll give them that. Oh my goodness. I feel like he breaks the first tackle every time he touches the football. That is the end of the third quarter, guys. Get your fours up in the chat. Terrero's on top, 42-14 to over the Northeastern Huskies. As the Terreros look for their ninth win on the season. I think they only, they only won, what, four games last season? Five? It was rough. Bo Davis up the middle. Fullback moves the chains. I'm going to put Bo Davis in a halfback after this drive. All right, Ballard. Let's go, baby. Get out of here. Okay, just hurdle him. I like it. See, Ballard is not really a flashy running back like uh, Zuber Speed, MJ Gator Jr., Brandon Allen, those types of backs. But he, he is just a workhorse. He just gets it done. 50 plays for the Toreros, 472 yards of offense compared to the just 92 yards of offense for the Huskies. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, Ballard, to the outside. Look at the speed right now. Oh, baby. Inside the 30. He is a man on a mission. Get him out of here. I can't wait to see him. <laughs> just... Just suit up in the pros, man. It's going to be so much fun. Look at the blocking downfield. Xavier Wilson inside the 10. Oh, my goodness. Too easy. We have a couple uh, EFL owners in the chat watching the game, so I'm sure they're keeping an eye out for uh, Robbie Ballard tonight. As Ballard breaks another tackle and finds the pylon, another touchdown for Tess in this ball game. Nine-yard score for Ballard. Too easy. You cannot arm tackle him. Who will be eligible to go to the draft? Uh, all the seniors and juniors and. We don't have any retreats, so no retreat sophomores. But it all depends on if their player in the game actually declares. You know, some of them are probably not going to. Terreros put the Huskies in the doghouse today. Yes, sir. All right, let me put Bo Davis in at fullback or halfback real quick. Who do I put in at fullback, though? Oh, goodness gracious. True freshman. Yeah, like I said, Toreros, they need some depth. So hopefully offseason, I can get some good recruits for them. And we could fill those spots with some Discord players. Because we got plenty of recruits in there. Oh, man. Whew, face mask, fumble. And they recovered anyway. Riley Porter forced the fumble. The wide receiver. Okay, then. Just a giant pile of people. That's crazy. All right, 49-14. There's less than five minutes to go in the ball game. Huskies looking to get over 100 yards of offense in the game. Oh my goodness gracious. Hunt with a forced fumble and recovery. The freshman linebacker is balling out. 
Get him out of here, coach. He's been making plays like that all season long. All right, let's see what Bo Davis, the fullback, can do as the primary back. He's built exactly like Robbie Ballard, so it should be fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 14 yards right up the middle. I love it. This team is so it's just so much fun this season, man. He's tired though after one play. Woof. <laughs> Wilson on the option and I'm just gonna dive down don't want to get hit and get Wilson injured four trips to the red zone four touchdowns in the game looking to get that 50 burger And Bo Davis is going to fall over at the five-yard line. He's so tired. I gave him the ball twice. Try to run some of this clock out a little bit. And I got caught on my own lineman. Feels really bad. Davis with 179 yards rushing this season. Two touchdowns. Not too shabby. And it is now third and goal from the four. We are six for seven on third downs in the game. That's a face mask. What? No way. <laughs> Come on. If only there was offsetting penalties in this game. That's unfortunate. That's all right. We'll kick a field goal. I'll take it. All right. Who is this? Young on for the field goal. As we go under three minutes to go in the ball game now. This is a 23-yard try. And it is up and good. We've got the 50-burger. 52-14 in the fourth. Total domination tonight. Oh my goodness! Woo! <laughs> oh baby! Get him out of here! Oh! Isaac Price, wow! Yo, Robbie Ballard in the chat, what's going on, brother? Need to see a piece of the game? Well, Robbie, you're definitely gonna wanna go back and rewatch the whole game, my friend. Because you are beasting and feasting. A lot of great runs from you tonight. They got their backups in now. And Washington going to take off. Look out for him. He is fast. Oh, my goodness. Zachary Joseph on the stop, the freshman cornerback, who has a punt return touchdown in the ballgame. Not to put a spy on that quarterback. My goodness, he was fast. He almost caught that. Wow. All right, they're down in two coming up. Boom Johnson in the zone at defensive end. They're going to go play action. 
And another fumble. It's recovered by the offense, but he is dropped for a big loss. Rush defense today, just 32 yards. You'll love to see it. Zachary Joseph with another shot here. And can't get past the first wave. Two touchdowns on the season, though. Not a bad freshman campaign from him. This is the final regular season matchup for San Diego. We'll see them in the bowl season next. As Bo Davis will pick up six more yards. He's got 38 in the game. Crazy that there's still no offsetting penalties in Madden with the technology today. Yeah, it's crazy that a lot of things aren't in the game. And it's crazy that it's just not a good game. Oh, the cutback by the fullback. <laughs> Up to the 46. Let's go. And he is gassed. Ballard, play of the game for the Toreros. 195 yards, rushing three touchdowns. Colbert, play of the game for the Huskies with the pick six. Lord up top, Demetrius George. Got him! Touchdown, Toreros. Another one. I had to do it. I had to. Had to get prime time his touches. I think that's only his third touchdown reception of the season. And it is 59-14. Jay Ballmer in the chat. You missed it. It's all good, buddy. You can always go back and watch it. A lot of good plays in this game. Oh my goodness, another massive hit from Rob Roy. In the middle linebacker. Wow. DJ Payne making an appearance. Oof. Not going for two to make it a 60 burger. Oh my goodness. We've seen enough 60 burgers, haven't we, Marvin? Come on now. Ed Fredrickson in the chat. What's going on, Ed? Hope you're doing well, buddy. They're down an eight. Quick pass, and that is just flat out dropped. Another quick three and out. Coker with his eighth <laughs> punt of the game. Wow. Come on, Joseph, pick it up. Oh my goodness, that was almost a disaster right there. That was rough. Bo Davis picks up three yards. And that's going to do it, folks. San Diego, the Toreros, the 20th best team in the land, get the dub 59-14 to over the Northeastern Huskies here in sunny San Diego.
Can I check out the top 25 in Heisman Watch? We will tonight after the final Week 14 matchup, which is number two Jacksonville hosting the Alabama State Hornets in SEC play. That'll be around 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. All right, let's take a look at these stats. It wasn't pretty for the Huskies, that's for sure. 102 yards of offense. Domination. Just absolute domination. We sacked them three times. We had two turnovers, apparently. Feels bad. They had only one, even though we forced four fumbles on them. No punts. They had eight. We had 85 yards on penalties. Wow. Time of possession. Domination, of, of course. And it was 7-7. Seven to seven. And, and then it wasn't. Five straight touchdowns from the Terreros. They were able to pull away. Wilson, 11 of 17, 274 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Sacked once, along with 55. Robbie Ballard, 195 yards, three touchdowns. Xavier Wilson had 96 in the score. Bo Davis with 51 yards. Wilson had the fumble. Demetrius George, four catches, 103 yards, and a touchdown. Ballard had two for 32. Bo Davis had a catch for six. Riley Porter, 155 yards and a touchdown. Freshman tight end had a catch. Vonnie Williams, one catch, 38 yards and a score. Doug Lay, one for 24. Also had that drop over the middle of the field. And I believe it was the second quarter. Brick Wall, 16 pancakes. No sacks allowed. And Doug Lay also had three pancakes from that receiver spot. Love to see it. Rob Roy, seven tackles. Freshman outside linebackers just balling out. Again, I don't know how or why nobody picked them in the in the offseason, the previous offseason, or the uh, the midseason recruiting process because they are fantastic players. All right, eight tackles for a loss, three sacks, no picks, six deflections, four force fumbles, all from different players. The two freshman linebackers each had one. Isaac Price had a force fumble. And Riley Porter on kickoff. Bo Hunt recovered one as well. John Young, 1-1 one one field goals, 8 of 8 extra points. And kickoffs, 8 for Castillo, 0 touchbacks, no punts. And a punt return touchdown for the freshman corner, Zachary Joseph, of 68 yards. And that is it, guys. Players of the game, Colbert, Stewart, and McBride for Northeastern. Ballard, Wilson, and Hunt for the 20th ranked and now 9-3 and three, San Diego Toreros. Our final game of week 14. There it is. Alabama State 1-9 on the season. Traveling to Jacksonville, Florida to take on the number two team in the country. The Jacksonville Dolphins. They're 9-1. and one, And they are headed to the SEC title game to face Grambling State. Who just actually lost against Hampton this week. So... I'm looking forward to that game, but that is going to be tonight around 9, 9.30-ish Eastern Standard Time. I will see you guys there. If you haven't already, please slap the like button on the stream, subscribe if you're new, and join our Discord community so you can get yourself on the field in this series. There's a link in the description below. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you later. Take it easy.